Hello, massage nurse. Today we're going to be doing lesson six, which are the muscles of flexion and extension and the radial ulnar joint movements, which is supination and pronation. So we'll start here with the flexion. As you can see, there's five major muscles that do flexion. We're going to start with the biceps. Biceps, remember, means two, so it has two origins. One at the coracoid process. Remember, the coracoid process also has the insertion of the pec minor and the origin of the coracobrachialis, but that was the other lesson. So right now we're going to focus on the biceps, which is this um, in origin, and then the other origin is at the glenoid uh, fossa. So then it goes down and it inserts at the distal part, I mean the proximal distal of the radial um, radius. Then you have your brachialis. Your brachialis muscle is really the works force of flexion. The only reason your biceps pop up even more with flexion is because this really does, you know, is right underneath and it makes it pop up more. So it originates here on the medial part side of the um, of the humerus, okay? So it's like right underneath the biceps and it inserts on the ulnar side, if you can see right here. You also have, let me see, your flexor carpi radialis. It's also a flexor and it originates on the medial, medial side of the humerus and it inserts right here at the carpal, by the carpals. So the flexor carpi radialis the brachioradialis and then the biceps and the brachias these are all elbow flexors the brachialis brachioradialis originates right here at the humerus on the distal part and then it inserts at the first carpi right here so these are one two three four which one am i missing Pronator, oh, pronator teres. These are the main flexors. So let's see, you can flex, and these are the main flexors of your elbow. Okay, so this, the pronator teres also uh, originates right here at the medial condyle of the humerus and inserts at the radial side. So these five muscles, biceps, brachialis, the teres, uh, pronator teres, the uh, brachioradialis and then the flexor carpi radialis all those five muscles are the ones that are used for for flexion now for extension it's your triceps there's only one muscle in the back of the posterior part and this is your triceps you, and it has tr triceps has three origins the long head is right here at the uh, third part of the scapula and it goes all the way down to the olecranon process. The long head originates at the um, humerus here, and then it goes down to the olecranon process. And then the medial head originates here. And if you can extend real good, you can really see, you can see the different heads on Leo because he's really pretty muscular here. So the medial head originates in the, uh, like halfway through the, uh, through the humerus, and again, it inserts on the olecranon process, and the anconius is also another elbow flexor. These two are the elbow, uh, I'm sorry, extensors, extensors, not flexors. <laughs> the, now, the, uh, the flexors, if, if you wanna flex for me, Leo? The flexors right here, you know, these, this is muscular cutaneous nerve. Anything on the anterior part is the muscular cutaneous nerve. Anything in the extension in the posterior part is the radial nerve. And over here, when you are um, in the anterior part, are the uh, is the median nerve, the pronator teres, which originates here and on the medial part of the humerus, and inserts at on the radial side, going across this way. Sometimes the medial nerve gets trapped going through here. So when you're working on somebody and you know, if the medial nerve also goes through the carpal tunnel, which that's another session. But anyway, you wanna make sure and work the pronator teres, pronator quadratus. So if they're pronator teres, pronator quadratus, guess what they do? They pronate. They originate here on the medial side because they're gonna pull the arm this way to pronate. And then the supinator would be on this side. However, we drew it on that arm because we didn't, it, it didn't, you couldn't see it here anymore. So the supinator is on this side and this is for supination. 
The two muscles that supinate are the biceps brachii and the supinator. Supination is when you're holding, there you go, when you're holding the soup. This is supination. Pronation is when you spill the soup. So the major muscle for, um, for supination is the biceps brachii. This is also known as the corkscrew muscle because it goes in, you know, for the supination is like a corkscrew, you know, to make supination, pronation, flexion, and extension. So there you have it. We have nine, mus nine muscles that we focused on. The biceps, the brachialis, the brachioradialis, the flexor carpi radialis, and the teres, uh, pronator teres. Those are for flexion. For extension is the triceps and the anconias. And then for uh, pronation would be the pronator teres, pronator quadratus. And then for supination would be the tricep, I mean the biceps and the supinator. So those are the nine muscles for elbow um, flexion and extension, the radial ulnar joint. We have two, we have the proximal uh, radial ulnar joint and the distal radial ulnar joint. And oh, also the radius bone is the one that rolls for pronation over the ulna. The ulna doesn't move. It's the radial bone that moves over the ulna. So when you pronate, it's that, yeah, it's that radial bone, you know, moving over, rolling over the ulna. So that would be it for lesson six, the uh, nine muscles. That's going to be your homework, guys. You guys got to draw all these muscles. And if you have to do them on separate arms, go ahead. I just try to do it all on one arm to show you more or less, you know, what it looks like. And um, lesson seven will be next week. So make sure you draw the muscles. And I hope this was helpful. And until the next time, guys, create a great day.